happening right now. Norwalk City Council is meeting and will soon vote on giving the Des Moines International Airport $250,000 for a new terminal. That money is to be given over the course of five years, broken into $50,000 payments. If approved, Norwalk would join other Des Moines metro cities in promising funding for the new terminal project. Local 5's Dave Downey joins us in studio with more. Yes, yeah, Stephanie, those metro municipalities pledging over $34 million towards the construction of the $575 million new terminal. Airport officials plan on using that $34 million to help leverage $300 million in grants for, for the rest of the project from state and federal sources. The airport is um, in so many ways our front door um, to the rest of the world. Um, and, uh, and again, Current terminal has service well. We are we have outgrown it. We need a modern, larger terminal, and we need to get it done. Jay Byers, CEO of the Des Moines Partnership, underscoring the importance of a new terminal for the rapidly expanding Des Moines metro area. We've been the fastest growing uh, metro in terms of population um, over the past decade in the Midwest. Increasing the number of gates from 12 to 18 in the planned terminal is crucial to allow further expansion of the airport. You know, right now we have no parking at the gates for airplanes overnight. This expansion is, is, is pretty critical to us getting additional air service into the market. Brian has gotten a front row seat to the growth of central Iowa over the past decade. We've grown 67% in the last 10 years in terms of passengers. If we do that again in the next 10 years, uh, there's just no way this facility is gonna handle it. And for you snowbirds, there's good news coming. Cancun is the top destination, one of our top 20, and. And if we can get that in the future, I think it's, it's a real possibility here, even possibly before the new terminal, um, but definitely with the new terminal. DSM is responsible for 65% of commercial traffic for the entire state of Iowa. Brian added the reason why they're choosing to reach out to Metro municipalities first is to show there's a commitment at the local level. Live in the studio, Dave Downey, Local 5 News, we are Iowa. All right, Dave, thank you. And Norwalk's finance director put together a list showing pledge dollar amounts from other metro cities. Some of those include Des Moines' promise to give $10 million. Ankeny pledged more than $2 million over the course of six years. Urbandale is set to give $1.3 million over six years. And West Des Moines will give $2 million over four years. Six other cities have also promised to give so far.